You guys ready to go? On the saga. So you got how many more pots of ours, and then you got yeah. cod pots? Captain Jake Anderson ties up loose ends before throwing lines. Looks like everything's getting together on the boat. It's yeah. Where's Corey? I haven't, I haven't seen him, honestly. But newest crew member, Corey Eisenbarth, has yet to make an appearance. I just wanted to know what's going on. It was New Year's Eve last night. I let everybody go out all night. I just didn't know where Corey is, just because I've had problems with partying in the past. I just get worried. Where's the captain? There he is! We still have 300,000 pounds to yeah. catch. My kids, you know, need clothes. I got a package I got to We got to catch something. We, we are. catch something. We are. OK. We're going to. I got up at 4.30 this morning. I pulled up a bunch of shots of line. I worked on the gear. I got the weather report. And then I started getting drunk. And I'm ready to go on a bender. I got Captain. I got my Captain right here. <laughs> OK, I'm going to go work on the gear then. That was bad. That was really bad. You can't talk to alcohol, especially when it's in charge of a machine like that. I'm about ready to go drinking. Straight up booze, man. So I can't trust it. But it's going to pose a problem for me because then I lose control of my boat, and I can't lose control of my boat. the Northwestern. Nervous? No. You should be nervous. It's not the most tender start we were looking for, but we've been in a hurry all night long to get these pots off to beat this weather. Well, we're under the gun because it just keeps getting worse. Having set his gear throughout the night. Hopefully we can get this string off without any incidents and, uh, then it's time to wait. Captain Sig Hansen has one string left to clear his deck. Be careful! Ooh. Hang on, hey. It's starting to just, it's not gusting, it's really starting to come. I think I'm gonna call this string a nick of time because it's starting to howl, man. You hear that? The rafters howling. That's when it's blowing over 50 and just starting. So the waves haven't really caught up with the wind yet. But those be gusts up to 72. So I'd like to be inside when that happens. Hell of a start to 216. I don't remember one in a while like this. Keep it together. Three left. I uh, was starting to stress out a little bit, you know, clock's ticking. Hang on, get out of the way. Get this last one off and then, uh, and then we can just take a break here. attention. Gotta pay attention. That's what sucks when they break right over the bow like that. You guys all right? Yeah. At the end of their first set, a 35-foot rogue wave ravaged the Northwestern's bow. Right there, get a little away, catch some crowd. Gotta pay attention. 
Nice work, guys. That was well done. Those guys don't sound too nervous, and I'm just sitting there with the shakes. I haven't all the pot, and we're already getting our butt kicked. At least the gear's soaking, and if we hit something, maybe it'll pay off. With an empty deck, there's nothing you can do. You just gotta idle into it and uh, wait for this to subside. Captain Sig Hansen jogs downwind to ride out the storm. Being out here risking life and limb, I don't know. I've had better ideas. <laughs> The weather's totally screwed up for everything we want to do. Yeah. What happened there? Huh? Look at the bow. What? Look at the whole bow. Just the huh? It's a crack. What the Yeah, we took a hit. Ouch. Look at that buckle. Buckle there, buckle there. Oh, I know, the whole bow's buckled. I thought paint was coming up there, and the whole thing's bent. It's cracked. And I didn't notice that one up there. There's a hole in the uh, right in the rim. Oh, yeah, peel it all up. Oh, yeah, even that one stanchion's bent. Even that's bent, and you can see the paint behind it on the crack. Yeah, we tore it up. No, that's crunched, man. Yeah. Even that rib is bent. I know. It's bent. So it moved. I think it's weak over there. I think that whole thing's been weak for years. But it should hold up to more than that. <laughs> Looks like we got to go to Seattle and fix that. The wave's power crumpled the thick steel like an empty tin can. We got something in the gear, man. That's all I can say. <laughs>